Hi, let's draw a chick from a circle. Sketch or strong, let's have some fun telling stories. You can draw! We'll be using some white paper, a pencil, an eraser, a black marker, and some colored pencils, or you can use some crayons. And don't forget, put some paper or some cardboard or poster board under your drawing so when you're using the black marker, it doesn't go through your drawing onto the table. Let's start by drawing with our pencil. We'll draw the big shapes first, very lightly with our pencil, and then we'll come back and trace those lines with a black marker. We'll start with a circle shape, and then we'll draw some small circles, three little circles at the top of that larger circle. And then right down in the middle of the circle, we'll draw a triangle. On both sides of that triangle, we'll draw little circles for the eyes. And at the bottom of the big circle, which is the chick's head, we'll draw a tiny triangle. And those are the shapes we'll use to draw our little chick. So if your shapes look kind of like this, then you're ready to go to the next step. Lay down your pencil and pick up your black marker. I'll start by tracing that large circle shape, which is the chick's head. Clear around the sides of that big circle. And then on top of that big circle, we'll draw the three little circles, which will become what's called the comb. It's a little part on top of the chick's head. We'll trace the triangle in the middle of the chick's head and put a line through it. And that will be the beak and then a little eye on each side of that triangle. I start with a little circle, and then I put a smaller little circle inside of that circle, and I color around it so it looks like each eye has a little white dot in it, which makes the eye look kind of shiny. And then add some details like the eyebrows and some little feathers sticking up on the cheeks. And then trace the top two lines from that small triangle at the bottom of the chick's head. That will be where the chick's body is. And now we're finished with our ink drawing, so we can go back and erase the pencil lines. And we'll have a nice clean black marker drawing of our little chick. And then we're ready to start coloring. I'm going to speed this part of the video up. You can see how I colored my chick, but you might want to take your time. Have fun! was fun, we drew a chick head from a circle. I'll bet yours looks great. And remember, the more you practice, the better you get. Well, thank you for joining me. Remember, every great story needs a great character. So with some practice, you'll be drawing some great characters to tell your special stories. So until next time, have fun. I'll see you then.